Hello everyone and welcome back to Flight Sim 2020 where I present a flight through New York City, primarily through Manhattan, uh, though we'll start off at Teterboro Airport and fly briefly through the Bronx, but uh, mainly through Manhattan. And I'll also start a second flight at Kennedy International and fly from Manhattan in that direction, flying over LaGuardia as well. I'll be flying a Cessna 172 uh, because of a request by a viewer. And that request was specifically, can you fly over the George Washington Bridge from Teterboro and land on the New York City streets? This was a request by Space Nerd 4. And, well, I decided that the best plane to do that in would be the Cessna. So, here I go, taking off from Teterboro, and I was trying to take a look around and navigate to the George Washington Bridge following the roads so that hopefully people will be able to see familiar things, right? Uh, so I wanted to go along larger roads, but I actually took a wrong turn there. I needed to turn left. So there'll be a lot of weaving around here. As far as landing in this New York City streets, that's fairly vague. That's sort of vague. Because I could pick a very large street, for instance, I could land in the middle of all this. This is a fairly large interchange going into the George Washington Bridge. But I decided that probably what was meant was the tight Manhattan streets, so we'll get a look at those in a bit. So, uh, still across the Hudson here, and we're going to cross that to the George Washington Bridge as the game has it right now. And I feel that some modder could probably fix that. <laughs> That, that doesn't look particularly great. I mean, I can see what the game was going for, what the AI was going for, but you certainly can't fly under it, it doesn't look like, and at least the cars are going on the bridge, that's a plus. Uh, but yeah, it could do with some work, especially considering the bridges on the opposite side of Manhattan seem to have much better quality. And this is like the most trafficked bridge in the world or something like that, so it could do with some. Here's Yankee Stadium, I believe. I hope. I hope I'm not completely wrong about that. Yeah. Uh, so, flying over a brief stint in the Bronx. Sorry, people of the Bronx. I, I didn't fly too much over here. I just wanted to see the stadium and see how that looks. And it's looking pretty spiffy. So, good times. And moving right along to Uptown Manhattan here. As you can see, we have lots of other players around because this is New York and you'll occasionally see others fly by us. But uh, I decided that all those name tags were too cluttery, so I turned those off. A much better view as a result. This is patently the best version of New York I've ever seen in the flight sim, obviously. There are flaws, though, uh, and we'll see some of that. And, but still, they certainly did extra effort around New York. I feel like this is definitely a place that they spent more time on, and it has a lot of detail. Uh, this cathedral here seems to be missing some things unless it's actually wrecked somehow I'm not sure I don't know I don't know that much about New York architecture and there's a lot to know about it if you take a look around there's a lot of things to find out I I would like to see I haven't seen Paris yet either so I, I should really go there and take a look that building had some weird gaps in it that's interesting but uh, yep going on I don't know which of the avenues this is and uh, I wanted to go to Times Square, but I never got a very good look at it, so that's a fair warning ahead of time. I'm not going to be looking at the Statue of Liberty or Ellis Island. Uh, that I'll just warn you ahead of time. I was mainly taking a look at Manhattan and aiming for the eventual goal of landing on one of its streets. Here's Central Park here. I don't know what the lake is called either. I sort of regret that, I'm sure. Uh, it's famous and everything. So, yep. Yeah. Here we go, taking a look at the buildings at the edge of Central Park, and then, I don't know, I, I don't quite know where I am in everything all the time, unfortunately. Here's one of those junctions, I think one of the diagonal streets is Broadway, so maybe, does that look like Broadway and Third Avenue, maybe, or something? I don't know, I don't know. So... Off to the side, we see the port. I don't know if they had the carrier, the Intrepid. I think there's an Intrepid Museum at the port at Manhattan, I think. Is that right, or is it somewhere else? Anyway, 
interesting uh, lower set area with all the tall buildings around. And really what I was looking for was Times Square, which I know uh, there's Broadway and 42nd Street and I think Fifth Avenue? No, uh, that, that, uh, anyway, I don't remember. But I, I think Broadway and 42nd Street, definitely. Or is that a little bit north of it? Somewhere around there. <laughs> Somewhere around there is Times Square. And... Well, that's uh, this a semblance of a port there. And I know that the UN building is one end of 42nd Street. The, the southern end of the UN building is at 42nd Street. So I was trying to figure out where the heck I was without a good map. Unfortunately, the game's map is lacking. And I didn't have a map of New York at hand at the moment. Anyway, on the bright side, it's quite fun to fly between the buildings freeform without necessarily seeing a particular site. Though I think uh, I might be heading towards the Empire State Building. All these buildings are fascinating. And there's, there's one of our fellow pilots there. Yeah, I mean, they've done a really good job. I mean, I, really close levels, of course, the textures are a little bit iffy, but what do you expect, right? And New Yorkers, or people familiar with the city, more familiar than I am, could give their assessment of how well they did here. So there's the Empire State Building, to our left. I'll eventually fly by at a higher altitude later on. But I had seen the Aerosoft version of Manhattan in Flight Sim 10, FSX. I uh, saw various versions of... I had a Manhattan freeware pack, actually, for uh, X-Plane 11. That was fairly large. But this is, this is really something. This, uh, I don't know which bridge this is. I know the Brooklyn Bridge, I don't know this particular one. I noted one bus that was actually going along the suspension wire. That was weird. Um, the the AI traffic in this game is wonderful. <laughs> it's very exciting to watch the AI traffic sometimes. And yep, Going down along here, head to the Brooklyn Bridge. The Brooklyn Bridge looked a little bit lighter color than I thought. I thought it was a more tannish texture. Here it's more of a gray. I don't know. Maybe it looks more like I would think it originally looked like? I don't know. I always envisioned it as a little bit darker. But. And we'll go down here. I'm behind us some way flew by. It's an enjoyable place to fly and uh, you can see... The, I mean sometimes it lags out. Uh, it's loading stuff and all that. And it's certainly maxing out my bandwidth. It's trying its best. To load all the textures and everything and it warned me at one point uh, you know photogrammetry uh, might not be up to snuff because of your bandwidth and it asked me where I wanted to turn photogrammetry off or whatever it's called and I said no do not turn it off I don't care do, you, do the best you can and so this is the best it could with my bandwidth if you have better bandwidth you could probably do even better uh, I think I'm fairly satisfied given that I don't know all the details of New York architecture. So here I go, this time I'm uh, really trying to see about how it might be to land on one of these streets per the request. So I'm doing a test fly of the buildings and then I'll come around and try and land. So I didn't pick one of the easier streets, I wanted something with really tall imposing buildings. Of course, I did pick an easier plane. Uh, I'm not flying uh, something huge here, but you know, you can see it's still the buildings are right at the wingtips. And of course, I would try in the cockpit here. So now, in previous attempts to fly between buildings, yes, I have, and um, I have found that they do knock my wingtips. At least uh, the time I tried to fly between buildings. It was in the Airbus A380, and I grazed a building, and it did knock my wingtip. And so I got knocked off by it. So that was interesting. And that was the Patronus Towers. Um, I decided not to go with that video, even though I did manage to go through the, the buildings uh, consistently. 
because I was a little bit worried about how it would be taken on YouTube, so. And here... Oh, it did not like that. Damage to landing gear. Well, you saw Kennedy the ground, though. Alpha, the Sierra, road Sierra, was not even. It right had all sorts of bumpiness street, and pseudo cars on it. So, yeah. Anyway, here's takeoff from Kennedy International. And we'll fly by Kennedy quite a bit. It's a premium airport. Well, not premium. I mean, it's a good-looking airport. It's a handcrafted airport. That's the words they use. Handcrafted airport in the game. And they certainly have taken a lot of effort with it, so we'll get a good look. I'm using Track IR at this point, so we'll get a look at it, and I'll be looking around with Track IR. There's the tower. So yeah, the way the AI works, uh, it you know anything that's like a parked car or a car on the surface can be interpreted as a block, right? And so, and then the trees are all sort of blocky down there. So that makes landing on the streets a little bit harder if it's not a clear street. Here we can see some of the other traffic around, and I had to not get in people's way. I've, I've railed against people getting in other people's way before, so we want to stay away from the runways. You can see the terminals there. And again, I'm not, uh, I have not flown to New York. I have never flown over Kennedy International in real life. So you guys can tell me whether this seems like a reasonable facsimile of the airport. I mean, it was good enough for me. I was uh, taken by it uh, enough to fly a few times around it. it. Seemed rather convincing. I should mention that this version of the Cessna 172 is the, the deluxe one, I think, because the baseline one is a G1000, but I wanted my dials. So I used the deluxe one, which is just a regular cockpit, or at least what I think of as a regular cockpit. I'm sure passing through buildings might be easier with a G1000 because it's got like the terrain feature or whatever. I don't know if that counts buildings or not. I'm not sure. I have not tried that. The thing I was most pleased about with the scenery and Kennedy International here, given that it's a really busy airport and we have a lot of other people's coming in and out too, not to mention the AI traffic, is the frame rates. As you can see, I mean, there are, there are occasional hesitations as it's loading stuff, I can tell. Um, there, there's sometimes choppiness that I'm not fully capturing in this video sometimes. But all in all, I thought it was fairly smooth. I've had it much worse in other sims before, FSX included, uh, Explain 11. Coming into New York, you don't expect the frame rate to be great. And here, it's basically the same as everywhere else. Uh, uh, there's a little bit more stuttering due to loading things, but once it gets through that, it's more or less feels like everywhere else, which is uh, sort of crazy. So Now, I wasn't coming in with an airliner. Uh, the experience coming in with an airliner might be a little bit different. So here we are, and uh, we're passing by. I, is that the Met Stadium? I want to say that, but I'm not sure. And uh, LaGuardia across, across the way. So just flying by, this looks good too. A lot of stadiums in the game currently don't look so great, but this is certainly one that more time is taken with. So yep, even logos and such, well represented. LaGuardia is obviously not at the same level as Kennedy International, because again, Kennedy was a handcrafted one. I don't, I don't know if there's, there might already be a premium, uh, you know, a, a payware LaGuardia or something like that. But uh, for my purposes, I thought it was all right. I mean, it is, it is a stockish airport. It's okay. And uh, we head back to Manhattan, and I was aiming basically for the UN building at this point because I knew that that was one way to help myself get to Times Square if possible. The, the craziest landing would probably be directly at Times Square, but I, I didn't end up trying that. I couldn't even find Times Square. I need a map. I need a map. There's Roosevelt Island. I know that. I don't know the bridge that runs through it, but 
uh, this bridge is one of those generic bridges, not like the uh, Brooklyn Bridge and the other ones further south. And here's the UN building, so I can recognize this. It's one of the more recognizable things with the sloped topped building there. So coming around here, and I was going to follow what I, th I thought was 42nd Street on through. Chrysler building there. I don't think the model of it is quite as nice, but uh, we really should judge from the top bit. Quite as nice as the Empire State Building, I think. But so here we go, flying through here. I was scouting out this road uh, in case this might be a good one to land on, but I don't, I didn't think so. It was actually wider. <laughs> You know, yeah, it's wide. It's pretty wide. It might be a little bit easy. It's not as dramatic as our first attempt. It's plausible that I could make a safe landing there. And looking at it, but who knows? Who knows? We got some boats. Nice waterfront. Lots of stuff here. And here I'm uh, cruising higher to get a better look at the taller upper reaches of the buildings, including the Empire State Building. Passing on by. So that's what it's looking like. I mean, again, the best I've ever seen these things in a flight sim, so... Whatever minor issues, I will certainly tolerate them. Okay, and getting a different view of everything. So far I've been flying fairly low. Now we can sort of zoom out and scope things in. I've seen other uh, images of Manhattan like this where it's sort of zoomed out and the buildings are sort of tilting outward from the focal point. Sort of going with that. I do have V-Sync on, but occasionally there was screen tearing here and there. And of course, I'm trying to record at the same time, so that that's a factor too. Okay, so here I am. I've slowed down. I'm gonna try and land again, and we will see. I made my best attempts. Uh, further analysis may be necessary. Further attempts can be made to land on the New York City streets. We'll see. And if my tone suggests that I'm not going to make it here, it's because I'm not really going to... I mean, I'm not going to survive in a way that it says I didn't crash, let me put it that way. But I don't know. I think it would have been safe, but I'm not sure. Well, safe as long as you don't count tree, trees being collidable. Then it wasn't safe. Okay, so I'm trying to get on onto a straight and narrow. Actually, this wasn't, uh, it's not as dramatic a uh, road as my first attempt. Those tall buildings were real tall. This is a little bit more comfortable, but it's still a tighter road than I was going down before. Yeah, the trees I don't think are collidable, but there are other things. I don't think the AI traffic is collidable either. Uh, as we go down here, Trying my best here. I'm not really going down very fast, but nope. It says that I collided with an object and damaged the aircraft. I don't know what object that is, but there you have it. Anyway, that was my first tour of Manhattan. The first time I had visited Manhattan in this game, and I was impressed. So I hope you were impressed too, uh, but maybe you can point out some things that were wrong with it. Who knows? So anyway, with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.